Time now for Hawk Zone, sponsored by Muckleshoot Casino. You know what else was a work of art? The Seahawks win last week. The Hawks got their preseason off to a good start with a 24-13 victory over the Minnesota Vikings. Terry Holloman joins me now in the Hawk Zone. Yes. Feels good to be back. Feels good to be home in the yes. Hawk Zone. Yes. We have a sound effect, so I don't have to do it. But really cool. Um, we saw a lot of great things, like Drew Locke looked pretty good, especially in the second half. Absolutely did. So Drew Locke, obviously, we've got him in the trade with Denver. Mm -hmm. uh, Geno Smith obviously won the job last season. But right. Drew Locke looked very good. It was very efficient out there this past week. Uh, 17 to 24 passing, threw for two touchdowns. But like you said, he showed some resilience. The mm -hmm. Seahawks fell back behind 10 to 0 in the first half, but second half battled back through a couple of touchdowns and looked really real. This was the this was the game that was going to show his his skills yeah, because I, we knew Gino wasn't going to be playing in right, this game. Right, right. So I'm glad to see he really stepped up. Uh, someone else who's been turning some heads, Jake Bobo. Yeah, Jake Bobo. Yeah. So he uh, is a guy that was uh, a late pick for the Seahawks mm -hmm. and, you know, kind of a stretch when you think somebody is going to make the team because we have great wide receivers in DK Metcalf, yeah. Tyler Lockett, and now we got the rookie uh, Jackson Jiba uh, Smith. Smith, mm -hmm. Smith and Jiba, but this guy really stepped up from where University of California, Los Angeles. Yeah. That's right. That's right. So, Go Bruins. Yep. So he had a great game, three catches for 55 yards, and you know what's really important for these young guys, especially a guy like Jake Bobo, mm -hmm. to step out in the preseason and make a name for yourself yeah. and make a big play for yourself. That's and awesome. when you saw Coach Pete Carroll get excited about you on the mm -hmm. sideline, yep. that really makes a, a good you know mark on the on the coach's minds. That's right. That's yeah. right. And he's like, especially if he's from UCLA. Oh, I don't know about that part, <laughs> but yeah, he's he's, good, he's a great player. Um, let's talk about some of the players who were drafted. I know Jake Bobo wasn't, but uh, no Devin Witherspoon in this first game. Right. So Devin Witherspoon has been dealing with a little bit of a hamstring issue. Oh, no. Now, no, and, and see, here's the thing. It's not anything for Seattle fans to be worried about at okay. this point. Right. I think it's just they're exercising a little bit of caution, an abundance right. of caution. Mm -hmm. Here's what I want people to understand. And when you talk about high draft picks, first round draft picks, second round draft picks, and people might get unnerved when we talk like this. But they're investments. The team has made a serious investment in this young man, right? Yeah. So they don't want to risk injuring him long term in a yeah. preseason game that doesn't matter. Right. So they're going to exercise caution and not utilize him right now. But hopefully we'll see him coming up soon. All right, you also just mentioned um, the rookie wide receiver, Jackson Smith Najiba. Yes. Um, so, how, how's he doing? By the way, I love to say his name, but I always mix up. Is it Jackson Smith and Jiba and Jiba Smith and, and Jigba? And J but anyway, either way you look at him, he got his teeth cut in the NFL. He, he you know, his rookie first play. Mm -hmm. They threw the ball to him on the very first play of the game. <laughs> He had a you know short gain, two or three yard gain, okay. but he was able to get out there. We were able to see his athleticism on a couple okay. of plays. And then they got him out because, again, he's another big investment for the Seahawks. They mm -hmm. don't want to risk hurting him in a preseason game. But he looks very good. He's up to speed. He looks very smooth. He looks like he's going to be a great fit for the Seahawks. Yeah. Speaking of getting hurt, there were some big hits. Let's talk about the defense. Oh, yeah. Defense looked well. Uh, one of the big issues uh, for the Seahawks program for the last year or so has been defensively, can they stop the run? Mm -hmm. We saw some of the guys out there, defensive line guys that they brought in and mix, and they looked very good but we saw some big hits. Devin Bush, one of the mm -hmm. linebackers for the Seattle Seahawks, made an incredibly big hit on special teams and on defense. I saw him playing well. And one of our defensive backs, everybody loves to say his name, Kobe Bryant. Mm -hmm. uh, he's moved from a cornerback position oh, to a really? safety position. Yeah. So we saw him make a couple of huge hits. And when that thing happens, it's so much energy takes place on the field, yeah. on the sidelines. Everybody gets hyped up. And so, um, yeah, I think I'm looking for some big hits out of this team. We got some big hitters. Um, we love Kobe. He was our rookie from last year. Uh, but on the other side of those big hits, we had some scary moments. Uh, Kay Johnson left the field on the stretcher, diagnosed with a concussion. Yeah. Glad it wasn't anything any more serious. Yeah. But that was a little bit scary. It was start. a little scary. And here's the scariest thing about it is because he didn't go down immediately on mm -hmm. the field. He actually stayed around, went to the sideline, then made his way to the blue tent, which is the medical tent and on the sideline. And they Ow. said, hey, something's not right here. Yeah. We're going to, again, exercise exercise an abundance of caution. Good. We're going to put you in the neck brace, put you on a stretcher, take you to the hospital and make sure everything is okay. Yeah. And like you said, fortunately, everything has worked out, but he's going to be in the percussion, percussion
concussion uh, concussion protocol and make sure he's going to be okay. Good. That's so important. We've got about a minute left, but I want to talk about this week's game on Saturday against Dallas. What are you yeah. looking for? Well, again, it's the preseason. Mm -hmm. um, I don't expect you to see very many uh, of the starters. They may play for a couple of series, but again, it's going to be another opportunity for the young guys to get into this game mm -hmm. and show what they got. And again, it's one of the reasons we talked about it last week, why the preseason is so important. Yeah. Not only for these guys to make a name for themselves on the Seahawks roster, but we know everybody's not going to make this team. Yeah. There's only 53 spots, and so these guys are putting together their resume yeah. for other teams and other opportunities in the NFL as well. So I expect to see a lot of the young guys getting a lot of work. We'll see a lot of the older guys, a lot of veterans on the <laughs> sideline <laughs> with baseball caps on. Well, it's exciting to be back here with you in the Hawk Zone. And speaking of exciting things, there are exciting things happening at Muckleshoot Casino. Listen to this. Don't miss classic rock band REO Speedwagon at the Muckleshoot Event Center Wednesday, August 23rd. Sing along with their massive hit singles like Can't Fight like This Feeling anymore. anymore. Or, remember, <laughs> Keep on, on loving, loving You. Listen, if you want to stop hearing us sing, I need you <laughs> to go visit their website for more ticket info, and it'll be the greatest. All